Today on Hong Kong Blu-rays, we are reviewing The Magnificent Butcher, which has been released by Eureka as part of a three film set of films with Sammo Hung. Welcome to HKB, I'm Leon. I'm Shaz. If you enjoy our review of The Magnificent Butcher, give us a like. And please subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the bell so you receive notifications of all our future content. To jump to a certain section, please use the timestamps in the description. The Magnificent Butcher was released in 1979. The Blu-ray we have has been released by Eureka. The disc is Region B. And the running time is... 108 minutes. This is a kung fu comedy directed by Yuan Wu Ping. The martial arts directors were Yuan Wu Ping and Sammo Hung. Starring in this one are Sammo Hung as Lam Sai Wing, Yuan Biu as Fun, Fan Mei Sheng as Beggar So, Wei Pei as Chat, and Quan Tak Hing as Wong Fei Hung, Li Hui Sang as Master Ko Ba Tin. And finally, Fung Hak Ong as Ko Tai Hoi. Lam Se Wing is a happy-go-lucky butcher and student of Master Wong Fei Hung. Lam suffers the wrath of Master Ko Ba Tin from a rival school due to an unfortunate misunderstanding. Matters are made worse when Lam's brother arrives in town with his young and pretty wife who attracts the unwanted attention of Ko Ta Hoi. Add Beggar So into the equation and a whole load of Kung Fu comedy and mayhem ensues. So, what did you think of this film with Sam Ho in it? I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. yeah, what about you? Yeah, I'm quite a big fan of this one. <clears throat> it's from that period of time where we had the recent big hits of Snake and Eagle Shadow and Drunken Master and um, obviously this film's very much in that vein with having Beggar So in it character as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, did you think it compared with those? Uh, yeah, I'd say so. Yeah? yeah. Okay. It's um, the, the comedy and the kung fu. I like the match in this. I think it um, strikes a good balance. Yeah, 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 I'd agree with that, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is also a bit of a serious undertone with that section. Yes. With the, um, the girl. Yes, it does go to a few dark mm. places. So, um, yeah, that, that adds uh, an extra element to the film, I feel, which is um, kind of unusual because the, the Beggar Soul character in this one's a lot more um, funny, amusing, happy-go-lucky. Yeah. And... Um, yeah. There's a lot of that in it, but also it does have dark scenes. What about the way this was shot? What do you think of the way it was shot, the camera work and so on? I thought it was good, nice, I was mm -hmm. going to say. Yeah. You know, nice sort of balance. Yeah. I think the cinematography in this one was pretty astounding, to be fair. Mm -hmm. There's some really mm -hmm. good shots. Um, there's somebody's face in between two candles on one scene. Yeah. I thought that was really yeah. atmospheric. And uh, yeah, I like everything in it, the soundtrack, etc. Okay, so my score for this one, Chaz, is a 7 out of 10. And that's the same as me, 7 out of 10. So, on the package of this disc, we get one commentary with Honor Venema and Mike Leader, which is, I thought, a pretty astounding commentary again. I really enjoyed it. A lot yeah. of interesting little, you know... Bits and bobs mentioned, and yeah, you were super impressed with this one, weren't you? You really did enjoy okay. it, and I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, very informative. Um, we had three interviews two with Samo Hung and one with Yun Wu Ping. And I, I think we've both noticed on that one they seem to be um, archival interviews, yeah, yeah. I think they're quite old, weren't they? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've seen them before on like Hong Kong Legend releases or some such. Um, the actual physical package itself, um, we have a slip case and it's a one sort of 
Blu-ray box but with three films on the inside so it's nice but it's kind of a little disappointing because these three films in this three films of Sammo Hung they all probably deserve their own cover their own yeah and you said that because they are um, you know a film per disc so there are three discs so mm. it would have been nice to have just had the individual yeah discs. even if they gave them those like thinner you know, DVD, Blu-ray mm. boxes, and just put them all in one slip case. Yeah, yeah. That would have been nice. Um, yeah. we, we do, however, get a booklet as well. And on the reverse of the sleeve, um, we get the covers for the other two films. So, mm -hmm. it's it's pretty good. I think the only other extra, if I'm correct, is a trailer. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. So, yeah. It's not a bad package, but it's far from the best we've seen. So, this package can get three out of five stars. This is a 2K restoration, and um, we thought it was brilliant, didn't we? Yeah. Per perfect picture. Yeah, it was pretty astounding. There was one sort of inserted scene, which I guess must be extended from what we've previously seen, where the picture was briefly faded, but, um, you know, it was hardly noticeable, was it, really? I, I didn't notice it. Mm. So we're going to give the picture quality 5 out of 5 stars. So the audio tracks on this one, we have four separate options. We have two Cantonese tracks, one original mono and one alternate mono. And then we have two English dubs, one original dub and one new dub. The um, Cantonese tracks, I think I prefer the alternate. Yeah, prefer to say. Yeah. Yeah, the English dubs, uh, we um, listen to a bit of both. And yeah, but that impressed with them <laughs> so we'd probably recommend having the either the original mono or the alternate mono um yeah and don't worry about the dubs because they just take but well, they take us completely out of the film so you just feel it doesn't fit the actors yeah. doesn't feel authentic enough for no, a film of this no. caliber with that in mind we're going to give the audio four out of five stars The disc has newly translated English subtitles and we found them very clear and a good pace so we're going to score them 5 out of 5 stars. So besides Samuel Hung, who was your standout in this film? Um, I really liked Samuel's brother. Mm -hmm. um, in this one, I think the actor is called Chiang Cam. Cam? Chiang Cam? Cam, yeah. I know not a lot of people have heard of him. A lot of people have seen him quite a lot. Even um, I think they struggled to recall him on the commentary, if I remember right. Mm. But yeah, yeah, he was he was pretty good. Well, what did you like about him? Um, I liked that um, you could easily think he was Samo's brother because he sort of looked similar, yeah. you know, with the, the body shape and everything and, and haircut. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was a convincing brother portrayal. Yeah. So. Um, but I just really liked um, how he sort of performed, you know, some of the um, martial arts bits and pieces he did. I, I just was really impressed by him and I thought, I don't really know who this chap is. Yeah. I liked his performance and how he came across. Mm. Yeah, he's not spoken of a lot, but like you say, he's pretty nimble himself. Mm. I think, didn't you say you've looked up and seen that he'd done some um, action choreography? Yeah, yeah. I think it was only one. Master with Crack Fingers? Yeah. Very yeah. early Jackie Chan yeah. film, so yeah, that's an interesting bit yeah. of information. For myself, um, besides Samo, my standout would be Fan Mei Sheng. Um, as many people may well know, Simon Ewan, Ewan Ping's father, was supposed to have played Beggar Cell in this film, but um, he died of a heart attack, unfortunately, during filming, which, you know, credit to Ewan Will Ping for still getting this film out. Um, mm. But yeah, Fan Mei Cheng, he picked up the gauntlet and made the role his own. I really mm. like his portrayal, and I think it really fits this film fantastically. Yeah. I think it would have been a completely different film, whether better, whether worse. 
who knows but i just like the life he injected into that character he did he really did every scene that he was in it felt really fun yeah and lively yes and and thanks to the commentary track i found out he was fan su wong's father which i never knew before oh, yeah. Yeah. but yeah that's great what about scenes for you what what stand standout scene or scenes do you have in this one um, I like the calligraphy fight at the beginning mm -hmm. between the two masters. Uh, yeah, that was great. Mm -hmm. Very clever. Yeah, that was that was pretty outstanding scene, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah. With um, Quan Ta King in his seventies there and showing yeah, us yeah. how good he was. I mean, wow. I, mean, I don't yeah. think I can do those finger push-ups now, let alone <laughs> <laughs> when I hit my seventies. Uh, <laughs> Was there any other scenes that you, you thought, you know, were... Yeah, I really liked the fight scene. Well, call it fight. I guess it was a fight scene between um, Begaso and... Um... Bong Hai Kong's character? Yes, sorry. I yeah. can't remember. Was he Ko, cut? Yeah. And where um, the beggar's after the wine. He hasn't got enough money to buy the wine. So mm. he's trying to get some of the wine um, pots broken so he can have a mm. sneaky sip. Uh, yeah, I just loved how clever that was and how fun it was. Yeah, yeah, it was a really well-crafted scene. Um, for me, when I go into fight scenes on this film, I mean, there's, there's such a rich variety to pick from. But for me, when Yu and Bu fights Lam Ching Ying, that sequence, mm. I love it. I mean, those two guys are incredible. And the timing, and the amount of moves they do in a take, and, and mm. with the fan, I mean, mm. that shit impressive. ain't easy to do, you mm. know? And uh, it's just got little touches in it, like, um, he has the blades come out of his yeah, elbows his when he's getting yeah. desperate. And, um, yeah, yeah that, that fight scene, yeah, I love that. Um, there's tons of great sequences in this film. There were loads, mm -hmm. loads of fights and... Mm. Yeah, it is a pretty much mm. a classic Kung Fu film, mm -hmm. you know. Maybe I think I rate the fight scenes probably a bit more than I do the film. Oh, okay. Yeah? Mm. Mm. yeah. You know, if I was rating this purely on fights, I would probably have given it a 10. Right, yeah, yeah. But that's not to say, you know, I don't think the film's great. I think the film is great. But, um, yeah, that, that quality, the combined choreography of Sama Hong Yun with Ping, it really delivers. Yeah, and as we mentioned earlier as well, it is quite a fun film. You know, it is classed as a kung fu comedy, and yet there is the um, the murder scene, isn't there? Yeah. Um, by um, the sister, or the adopted sister of Ko, mm -hmm. um, which was a bit harsh, wasn't it? Which did sort of... Yeah. No. Yeah, it's that's the extra it's dimension. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I really enjoy the whole thing. I like the way it ends up as well, you know. Mm. And um, there's there's a whole host of other actors in this that you guys out there would be familiar with. Um, some guys from Sam Hung's stunt team, like um, Chung Fat, with his um, cat fighting, which is really oh, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we've got Ewan Mo doing his monkey staff, which mm. also really, really good. Um, yeah. I mean, this this definitely has a great cast, and uh, well, I've got to ask you: Would you recommend this one to um, friends, family, anybody you know? Yeah, I think I would actually. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's it's fun. I think it would go down quite well. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'd have no hesitation recommending this one to um, friends, especially if I knew there were you know fans of kung fu movies. How's the availability on this one? Well, you can get it on Amazon.co.uk for about £21, but if you don't want to feed the beast, you can go to Eureka Direct and they have it for £26.99, as do our good friends at the Terracotta store. So we'll put a link to all three of those in the description. We hope you have enjoyed our review of The Magnificent Butcher. And we'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed so far. And if you haven't, why haven't you? And thank you to all of our followers on social media too. Next time on HKB, we're reviewing Needing You, starring Andy Lau and Sammy Cheng. Looking forward to that one. And remember folks, be true and buy the blue. <laughs> <laughs>